In today's video lecture, we'll be talking about the current divider rule. So what is a current divider rule and will we prove formula for the current divider rule? So we have already discussed in the previous few presentations that what is a parallel circuit. So a parallel circuit is one in which the current is divided through each path and this current division is dependent on this resistance value. So the greater is the resistance value, the lesser will be the current to that path. The less is the resistance value, the greater will be the current through that path. And we have already discussed that the voltage across each component in this parallel circuit is, will be equals to the voltage of this DC voltage source or this input voltage source. So V1 would be equals to V2 which is equals to the input voltage. Now the current is divided through each path. So Now basically there are two ways to find out the current through each path in this parallel circuit. The one way is just by using Ohm's law which states that I1 would be equals to V1 divided by R1. So as we know that in the parallel circuit the voltage across each component is equal to the voltage of this DC voltage source. So V1 is equal to in this case E divided by R1. Now the same is the case for I2 which is equal to V2 divided by R2. Now V2 is equal to the input voltage which is E divided by R2. Now for this case it is simple to find out the current through I, R1 and R2 because the input voltage is already we have. Now there are some cases in which the input voltage is not given to us for any parallel circuit. So for that case it is not easy to find out the input voltage to the parallel circuit. So to, in order to prevent ourselves from finding out the total input voltage to parallel circuit we can use a rule called a current divider rule which states that in order to prevent ourselves from finding out the total voltage or the total input voltage to any parallel circuit, we can use this rule, which is called the current divider rules. Now, as we know that the, the input voltage to this parallel circuit is equal to E is equal to IS, which is the total current from this DC voltage source into RT. And this RT is basically the equivalent resistance of this parallel circuit. So now by putting the value of E in this equation, so we get I1 is equals to E. Instead of E, we can write down IS into RT divided by R1. Now we can also put the value of E in this equation. So I2 will be equals to IS into R, RT divided by R2. Now if we have n number of resistors connected in parallel, so what will be the formula for the nth resistor? So I nth will be equals to I s R t divided by R nth. So from this we can easily analyze that the value of I s and R t will be the same but the value of this denominator will change. So from this we can easily say that the current through each path is depending on the resistance value of that path I1 is depending on the first resistor I2 is dependent on the second resistor I nth value of the current is dependent on the R nth value of the resistance so this is basically the general formula which is used to find out the current through each path in any parallel circuit and we have already discussed how to find IIS are the current through this DC voltage source and the equivalent resistance of any parallel circuit. So the equivalent resistance of this parallel circuit is 1 divided by RT is equals to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. Now just by taking LCM we can get R1 R2. So R1 plus R2. So now RT from this equation will be equals to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now to understand the current divider rule in a more brief way, let's take an example in, in which we have three resistors which are connected in parallel and here we have a 12 milliampere of current towards this parallel network and the resistance value of this first resistor is 1 kilo ohm and that of second resistor is 10 kilo ohm and that of third resistor is 22 kilo ohms and we are asked to find out the current through this first resistor, second resistor and third resistor by using a current divider rule. So as we know that the current divider rule state that the current through any resistor it will be equals to IS which is this total current into RT. RT is the equivalent res resistance of this parallel network divided by R nth. 
and this Rn is basically a resistor through which this current In is flowing. So first of all we need to find out the equivalent resistance of this network. So the equivalent resistance of this parallel network will be equals to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. Now the resistance value of this first resistor is 1 kilo ohms plus the resistance value of this second resistor is 10 kilo ohms plus the resistance value of this third resistor is 22 kilo ohms. Now by using a calculator to find out the equivalent resistance from this equation. So the equivalent resistance 1 divided by RT will be equals to 1.145 multiplies 10 raised to the power minus 3 per ohms. So the equivalent resistance of this network is equals to 873.02 ohms. Now in order to find out the current through this first resistor by using this formula. So I1 will be equals to IS RT divided by R1. So the value of IS we already have which is 12 milliampere into the value of RT is 873.02 873.02 ohms divided by the value of this first resistor is 1 kilo ohms. So the current through this first resistor is equals to 10.47 milliampere. So 10.47 milliampere of current is flowing through this first resistor. Now in order to find out the current through this second resistor by using this formula I2 will be equals to ISRT divided by R2. So IS we already have which is 12 milliampere into the value of RT is 873.02 ohms divided by R2 which is 10 kilo ohms. 10 kilo ohms. So the value of the current through this second resistor is equals to 1.048 milliampere. So the current from this second resistor is 1.048 milliampere. Now the current from this third resistor is equals to I3 is equals to IS RT divided by R3. So IS we already have which is 12 milliampere into RT is 873.02 ohms divided by 22 kilo ohms. So the current value from this third resistor I3 is equals to 0 0.476 milliampere. So these are the values of current from first resistor, second resistor and the third resistor. And the current value of the first resistor is higher than as compared to the second and the third one because the because the resistance value of this first resistor is lower than as compared to the second one and the third one. And the least current is flowing through the third resistor because the resistance value of this third resistor is much higher than as compared to the first resistor and the second resistor. So it's all for today's presentation. If you have any doubt, ask in the comment section. See you in the next one.